हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पीली देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर स्पोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट आउट इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन द रात बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar opinions, and Dinar guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. Alok, he's been working hard for the last couple years on what? Getting rid of of the corruption, the rhetoric in the media. I think that problem is going to go away. He's here to finish the project to delete the zeros. If you didn't get ready, it's too late now. Looking forward to a bright sunny morning. CBI spokesman on television talking about the advantages and the different types of floating our currency is going to go through. He said there are two types of float: free float and managed float. You are in the monetary reform phase that is educating you on your new currency. new exchange rate lower notes this campaign is pounding the information about the next step of the monetary reform why are you floating your currency because they're adding value to it be ready at any moment have you ever thought about how the leadership in a financial system affects everyday citizens well today's topic dives deep into a major change happening in the financial world We're talking about the Supreme Judicial Council's suggestion regarding a key figure named Alok and his possible retirement. Now here's the hook. Alok was brought back to oversee a crucial rate change, but his retirement timing has sparked a lot of questions. What do the new small category notes from 2018 have to do with all of this? Let's unravel this mystery together. First, let's set the context. The financial landscape of any country can change drastically based on the decisions of a few key individuals. In our case, we are looking closely at Alok, who has played an influential role in the financial system. Historically, changes in leadership can lead to shifts in monetary policy, potentially impacting the economy for years to come. Now, why is Alok's retirement such a hot topic? In 2018, the country printed new small category notes. This was a significant step aimed at making transactions smoother and more efficient. What makes it even more surprising is that Alok's signature is on those notes. It's a reminder of his direct involvement in shaping currency changes. This ties us to the current rumors of his retirement. If Alok steps down now, it raises the question Why now? Is there a larger plan in the works? Or is this simply a matter of timing? Let's look into some potential scenarios. One theory is that the government may want to introduce further changes in monetary policy, and a new figure might bring a fresh perspective. But here's the twist: if the new notes are in circulation and Alok is retiring, how will the transition impact the ongoing monetary strategies? Imagine having brand new tools in a toolbox and then switching the person who uses them. That can lead to complications. Additionally, adjustments in interest rates could have a profound effect on people's mortgages, loans, and everyday spending. Now, let's connect the dots. If Alok's retirement was planned all along, it might mean that the groundwork for future changes is already laid. It raises suspicion about whether the authorities need someone with a different vision for what's to come. What we might be looking at is a power shift, one that could impact economic decisions for years. Now, let's think about historical similarities. Have you ever noticed how leadership transitions in finance often come during major economic shifts? They might signify a complete overhaul of strategies or simply a reaction to economic pressures. 
With Alok stepping down at this crucial stage, it aligns with patterns we've seen before. But, here's where it gets interesting. What if Alok's signature on those new notes means he's leaving behind a legacy? One that could either bolster the economy or lead to confusion and turmoil. It's a double-edged sword that we need to consider. And this is where you come in. What do you think about this timing? Is it a strategic move, or do you believe there's more at play? Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and share this video with friends who might be interested in the economic shifts happening around us. As we wrap up, remember that financial transitions directly affect lives. Understanding the players involved helps us anticipate the impact of their decisions. Keep an eye on Alok's situation and the broader changes in the financial world. Will his retirement signal a new era or just another chapter in the ongoing story? Your engagement helps shed light on these discussions, so let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for tuning in, and see you in the next video.